Kim Show. Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching, too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's Tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your Tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit. Let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. in the middle. Want to have some fun? Some fun? Some fun? Some fun? Well, well, welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. Is there long delays? like the queen now. <laughs> the food is delicious because we cook it with tittle. Shy, uh, the production of season three, and of course, uh, yes, 
the lovable Miss Ethel is here, getting ready to get into my costume for this scene. I tell you, Miss Ethel has gone through a lot in season three. She's lost her home. Ronnie is selling things out of the house. She's in a nursing home. From the beat down, she's suffering from dementia. Will there ever be a joy in Miss Ethel's life besides Ronnie, her grandson? We shall see. It's season three of The Shy. Bon appetit, let's eat. You're cooking with Tittle and more food for thought on the set. Now, let me go get in the costume and study my lines. A lot of stuff to do here with Curtis, with Ronnie. And I guess I'll eventually see Jada. Here's Ethel. Everything you touch can be. Who are you? What's your name? I've learned something about people with dementia. They can sit and talk to you as straight as a conversation can be and be somewhere else and then drift off somewhere else. But the thing about dementia and patients, you gotta keep reminding them of the familiar of family so that they'll enhance their memories a little bit better. Breakfast is always good. A very cheesy Denver omelet. And my favorite grilled cheese, tomato, and bacon sandwich. And a little fruit. Well, we're here. We got an early morning call. You can tell by my voice. <laughs> and uh, we are here. About to get ready for Miss Ethel in episode 306 in which we get to go to Foxy's. It was called the Fat Cat, but they changed the script. So now it's Foxy's. And whenever they change script, they always change the color of the script. So you may get yellow, you may get white, you may get green. It just shows the updates on the scripts. So breakfast is about to come. I'll show you what we're eating this morning. Should be a nice Denver omelet and a, my favorite sandwich, bacon, tomato, and grilled cheese. It's so good on a wheat toast. Bon appetit, let's eat breakfast. You're always supposed to have a hot breakfast in the morning before you get started if you have an early morning call. And sometimes you get called for lunch. <laughs> bon appetit, let's eat and get dressed in my beautiful Miss Ethel getting ready to get hot. Refrigerator's full with my favorite water. Topo Chio. And got my meals on wheels and they hook me up with some nice jerk chicken. Mmm. It is looking good. Oh yeah. Mmm. And I got some over my wardrobe so I wouldn't mess it up. Pete's Market has jerk chicken. The large Pete's Market. And this is on Cermak 
a little past Western going West. Mm. Peace Produce Market. Good jerk chicken. <laughs> That's some good jerk chicken. Bon appetit. Let's see. You're cooking with tittle. And a few gnats in here. <laughs> Trying to get my food. I'll kill them. You're dead. Well, I'm in costume. Miss Ethel is looking a little dirty because in her scene, she is knocking at a strange abandoned house, trying to get in thinking it's her house. She's totally demented. And uh, she's just wanting to go home. And these scenes are gonna just break your heart with me and Ronnie. And also his buddy Curtis. Yes, can't wait to see it. You're cooking with Tittle. Bon appetit. Let's eat our words and drink our Topo Chio. Good mineral water keeps you up. I'm so sleepy. This season has started out with late night calls at 9.30, 11.30 p.m. and working till 3 and 4 a.m. in the morning. Yes, it's rewarding, but it is hard work being an actor. is always full. Yes, Miss Ethel has got her meals on wheels. Mm. Oh my. Oh, Miss Ethel is back. We're finished with episode 306 and you will see the rest on Showtime. Uh, I look so good in my red dress. Just look at all the club scenes. It looks so great. And the food is delicious because we cook it with Tittle. Bon appetit. Let's see what I had for dinner. Good healthy beets. Nothing like them. Good healthy spinach. And of course those peppers. Yeah. Meals on wheels from the shack. And your Tittle loves it. Now let's get on that. We eat good at the shack. We have stuffed flounder. Oh man, is that the good? <laughs> Wardrobe is always good. <laughs> They're always standing by. Did you see any other club scenes? Could you see from behind? I didn't. I wasn't on set. I had to be back here at the truck with lots of stuff. But the screenshots we were getting were pretty amazing. Oh, okay. So they showed yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, they call me Marilyn Monroe. I call myself Billie Holiday. <laughs> A little combination of both of you. That's right. She tried to take my flower. I said, you got three other orchids. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, because technically, I'll have to be dressed when we do the hospital scene. Correct. I see. So I get to wear this again. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, they were stitching up a lot. And by the way, she stitched these down. Oh, lovely. Okay. Yeah. Let's get those so out So that they too. wouldn't move and they would stay perfect. That's yeah. what wardrobe means. There we go. Yeah. All right. So you can unzip me. I, you are unzipped. Oh, okay. You're ready to go. I didn't okay. know if you wanted to undress with the camera going. So. <laughs> Why not? I only have on red. <laughs> Wait a minute, I only have one red. There we go. There you go. 
my beautiful red dress made by Carol. Oh, uh -oh. Still, stitched. still stitched. Oh, they had me stitched oh, up. Oh, they did it good, didn't they? They didn't want they didn't want it to move. Which I don't blame them. Great. Okay. Oh wow. I Is that a pin and drop it? Oh, that's right. I'm stitched mm -hmm. to my bra and everything. We're double stuck in. Well, now that I have to get naked, bye. <laughs> I really feel like the queen now. <laughs> we at the Shy Season 3 party, hey! Hi, I'm Brian Keyes, uh, actor here in Chicago, and I'm a reader in the reader's room for The Shy Season 3. What exactly does the reader do? So what the reader does is every se every episode has a new script that comes out and the writers need to hear it out loud. So my role is I come in with the cast and if there's a cast member that isn't there or if stage directions need to be read, that's my responsibility. I read it for them and I, give, I bring life to it. So I have to watch the show and know what energy each character brings and I bring it to the room. You've got a very important job. Real important job, yeah. All right, well you've inspired some young person to do that and I'm so glad we look good yeah. in our we look real good, real we good. Look <laughs> Enjoy the party. Oh, Have fun. Oh yeah, girl, you look too glamorous. Baby girl, you see? I know. You know I saw him get a picture with Miss Abby. Oh yeah. What oh, you yeah. drinking on? Oh.
brain just had a brain fart. Oh no. What's your name on the show again, Miss? Miss Ethel. Miss Ethel. Oh, I just said it. Miss Ethel Davis. Yeah, I just said it a minute ago. You just went right out of my head. Don't worry, y'all. Yeah. I'm signing autographs and taking pictures. Thank you. We at the Shy Season 3 party. Hey. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 